Welcome to another episode of the Bastard Sermon. I'm one of your three hosts, Cody Hucker. Luke Young. Clint Young. Yep, that's him. Uh, this week we have on a hilarious Cincinnati-based comedian, Zach Wyckoff. Everyone please give it up. Oh, wow. For me. Stop it. Oh, shucks. Not, oh, just, not, shucks. Just, a, not just any normal comedian. He's the winner of the funniest person in Cincinnati. Yeah. Did yeah, you just win yeah. that? That was uh, 2019 yeah. when I peaked. Oh, uh, that's, when, that's when I was good. Yeah. Was it the pro pro am? How does it how's it uh, set up? Is there's there like two a... brackets. There's amateur and semi pro. Um, one of only two to win it back to back. So really get your expectations as high as possible for this podcast, everybody. It's gonna friggin' rip. And I didn't even say a swear. That's what we do. Do you ever <laughs> do you ever swear? Are you completely clean? Oh, I say swears if people cut me off in traffic. Or yeah. uh, when he's by himself, uh, how where, where Jesus can't see. That's right. That's right. Yeah, he, he can't hear inside my Toyota Corolla. No, what? I think they probably swore all the time in the Old Testament. They probably cleaned it up in the New. Though. Well, they used to. Have oh, you wacky think they curses. censored it? Yeah, hundred percent. You know how Deadwood's like every other word's motherfucker and cocksucker. If you watch that, they didn't actually talk yeah, like yeah. that in Cowboy Days. They're they're like all their fucking curse words were like biblical curses and stuff like that like, jezebel oh. yeah exactly yeah. it's almost like scarier that. i don't want i don't want someone biblically cursing at me that's like <laughs> well it's before it's before a lot of those words became common use but yeah those, they, they, those they were probably weak as fuck then dude <laughs> if i was if i were to go like on a, on a verses against your cowboy i would score them so hard our curses so? are so good I they're so yeah yeah i would okay. i would hit him with the amateurs and i would still rock his whole world <laughs> i don't know, I don't he, know. Would, he, he would have to go home and like fucking fire put, a, put the six shooter in his mouth or hang himself <laughs> he, he does some fire he's gonna slap the, he's gonna slap the fucking, <laughs> he's gonna karate chop the gun to kill himself with it <laughs> he meets himself at noon sorry <laughs> he probably does some of that fire and brimstone shit at you ain't ready for you like oh shit <laughs> like is this motherfucker actually cursing me man like <laughs> what level of curses do you get you get a little dam in there? A little, you throw a little hell out there. Oh, yeah, little yeah, dam, yeah. little hell. I do it all. How, especially if I'm what's bombing. Your, <laughs> what's your nuclear? Bombing. What's your nuclear curses, dude? How far will you take it? What I'll, is the, I'll say an F. You, you'll, you'll throw a little F out I'll there. Throw a little I throw a little F out there, like the every now and again. Wait, which yeah. F are we talking here? The, the, <laughs> the, that's a great point. That's a great point. The four letter one. As a Christian, I feel like you should be more happy with the six letter one, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. They're, Oh, no, not Westboro, Chris. Okay, yeah, I'm they're, sorry. They're, different. There's different sex. I didn't know. No, it's, we don't do that either. <laughs> sex. Come on. Oh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Hey. We are three minutes in. <laughs> yeah. Well, speaking of which, you said off the mic. You've never beat off. Is that real talk? Never, oh, no, that's not true. And why did you bring D? that up? <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude, on the way here, brother. I, I'm a center. I don't know what to tell you, dude. <laughs> Is there a God-approved way to J your D? That's a great question. Oh, like, this one... is good. This is like youth pastor confidential. Um, I, I'd say probably. I don't know. Maybe to your wife. That there has nice. to be right. That like, what nice. if you're like she's just, out of town? What if what if you're like just ravaged <coughs> with sin, and you're just like father? You know, during confession, you're like your nuts are heavy with sin, dude. <laughs> my fucking full, <laughs> yeah, dude, my full sack to the brim is with just sin. Fucking, it's hanging to my knee with sin right now. <laughs> It See, hurts, I, I've father, thought this through. You know what I mean? And and like Sally, she's been fucking begging <laughs> at the fucking snack bar. My nuts you know are heavy, like sh like hard shelled airport and luggage. I'm just saying, like, mm. is there a healthy way that without you know? I, of course, I'll save Sally for marriage, Lord. But you know, like, uh, it, sure. is there a way I can relieve sin? myself you know what i'm saying before so i've actually thought about this what oh. let's hear it so right. technically the sin is letting your speed seed spill on the ground oh so you just gotta catch so, it hold on. Going no. old school if you just go over one of those giant fans it'll like blow it up in the air and then it would all be like dried before it came back down are you saying we gotta send all our cum to space <laughs> that's <laughs> then it never hits the ground Huh. All right, dog. This huh. sounds sick. What, what were also, they doing with the? Did we go to the moon? Is that what they were doing? <laughs> I, dude, just dumping off you loads. You know how mad. Hey, that's how we fix the. Hey, be? That's how we fix the ozone layer, bro. Real God, quick. No, how, it's not. How how long was the trip to the moon? I feel like that's something you know. Is is it like? Hold on, let me look this. He was up. like, well, yeah, I, I, can I can smoke. I can smoke eighteen like fucking packs of cigarettes on my walk to the moon. So fucking. <laughs> 
feel like 18 weeks. I don't know. 18 no, weeks. No, it's not 18 weeks. Uh, like, yeah, Two days. No okay. yeah, I was going like, to say like three <laughs> or four days. Up there. No, most of the gestation period of a human. That's Dude, I've, never, <laughs> I've never gone that long without beating off. Like, how do you. Uh, two days? You, you, yeah. you really can't get okay. an erection in space. Respect. <laughs> Since I started beating off, what? You, you, you don't. How long do you go in between loads? Oh, man. Zachary? Oh, that's a phenomenal question. Y'all are trying to cancel me right off the top. Well, <laughs> well, right that's, off the rip. That's assuming that people just have, like, the 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 time to just be like, I'm about to go on a cum fest right now yeah. and have, like, <laughs> back-to-back nuts. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I'm about to dedicate th- these next couple of hours to lo- making sure that door stays locked I have two bottles of water. (laughs) Gotta hydrate. A charged phone. One for me, one for him. (laughs) A charged phone, you know what I mean? And fucking 80 pages of fucking the most disturbing porn you've ever seen. Like, I don't think a whole lot of people have I think Luke just described a good Saturday. He's reading it. That's that's his thing. No, I just know my friends. (laughs) Wait, how long are you waiting? Are you saving up, like, weeks of nuts? Is there... I mean, listen. Months? You ever got months? Who among Amongst us has not changed the oil every now and again. No, you know what what I mean? what, what's your how many miles in between cha- oil changes? I would, are going <laughs> see, here, I'm probably Z- five thousand miles in my car. I wait until my oil light comes on, and then I'm like, it's probably my time too. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't know. There's no. Uh, I don't have no I take, time. He's the Me, Toyota Corolla of people. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I'm gonna run it into the ground. <laughs> I treat mine like it's a 1968 fucking VW. The engine's falling out a little bit. I leave the house to get smokes and come back. I'm like, well, time for another <laughs> oil change. <laughs> <laughs> Got to take her out to the shop. <laughs> is this? Are you taking it to the shop? or Are you doing it in the driveway? Those are two different <laughs> <laughs> metaphors. Like a backhoe. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing it at the UDF, changing the oil right there. All right, yeah, all right. I beat off a lot, I, but my I, point is, with all those saved up, t- with all that time in between, mm-hmm. and 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 with the Jesus, like really guilting it up for you, it's got to be the craziest nut busts of all time. Like you got to look like Randy. Are you a South Park fan? You got to look like Randy after you just oh, got the sure. internet. Oh, I know the meme covered the internet i'm a, i mean it's, 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 it's good it's, it's, it's a little bit when the lord finally <laughs> lets you relieve sin from your body it's just fucking come everywhere it's like only on full moons because the blue moon blocks their view <laughs> no pun intended no pun intended but the oh i forgot i started saying no pun intended and i couldn't remember what the pun you was immediately like. lost oh, your trail i remember i that's remember sick. not to bust your balls too much but uh that i mean that's no our pun intended. that is what we were talking about come on Busting nuts, That's busting balls. Yes, you know but what I mean, yes. I, I, All right. I do think your brand of comedy is super unique. Like, oh, I, don't, thanks, man. I, I never it's thought awesome. I would hear like, "Oh, he's a Christian comic." Like, this is gonna suck. I know. But then I listen. I'm like, dude, Zach Wyckoff rules. Every oh, if thanks, you guys buddy. haven't seen Zach Wyckoff perform comedy, go and check him out. Zach, do you got dates somewhere that people can follow you? Can you plug I all do. that shit up front, please? Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. Dude. Um, I am. I post all my stuff on my Instagram, but um. Oh, actually, this was actually really fun. I did. Uh, I posted this today. I don't know if y'all saw it. This is um, this is me in a, a bowl of gra- uh, mashed potatoes and gravy, and I'm skimming it like a little pool boy. All right. Yeah, trying to get all the <laughs> trying to get all the moms back home all horned up. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> if you're looking for Watch a side piece, Instagram. good ideas. Yeah. What's your Instagram called, Zach? Uh, whack underscore Zycuff, which Black not great Zycuff. after we're just talking about. Whacking off, whacking it. Oh, it's not great. Guys off. Okay. <laughs> Whack guys off. Uh, he whacked perfect. his underscore. <laughs> That's right. He's right there. He's right there. Third down. Whoa, easy, fella. It just disappeared. Yeah, delete. Yeah. The, delete everything from that search bar. Everything. I'm a everything. ch. I'm a All ch. The, z- the correct way. Hold to on. Are you there? Whack no. Zach. No. Uh, w a c h. It's a. Uh, there you go. It's from like if high I school. If I deleted everything, you would never got it. You would have gotten to it faster. All right. Well. Oh, That's look. Hold on. Go back up disrespectful oh yeah. oh shoot i'm sorry oh okay cool i thought i was okay i no. thought i was no not you y'all. okay not you. yeah you, you guys are us. rude where's your match <laughs> there, there it right is there. here we are beautiful looking, looking for, for a side, side piece, piece. It's i so am stupid. daddy what's going on <clears throat> saucy i love uh, it so are these your dates uh yes sir and first uh, one December. will be after saturday so after the, the 12th nice 11 13 at queen city radio 11 15 at fall city brewery in louisville Where's the other one? Queen City Radio? Where's that at? Down down in OTR. It's a a cool little joint. Righteous. 1117 LNR, The Revel in OTR. 
Uh, never been there. I'm sure it's awesome. 1119, comment, north side that's up the street. Uh, 1127, put it on tape. DM for deets. What's yeah. that all about? What's the what's the deets? I am uh, recording a little 10-minute thing, 10-minute little, do, hey. little doodad to nice. uh, put on the internet so people think I'm cool. Tremendous. That that's know? fucking awesome, so, dude. That'll be fun. So like people a, know you're cool. So people know that I'm cool. Making waves. I believe in you. That's, that's right. I'm out here... I'll, I'll jump in your pool. You know what I mean? <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Everybody go follow fucking uh, uh, Wack Zykuff. W-A-C-H underscore Z-Y-C-U-F-F. Just type in Zachary Wyckoff. You'll find him. You'll find him. Sure. <clears throat> and I do talk about jacking it every now and again. I just, you know, I keep it for, you know... For like when you you'd do youth groups and you'd split out boys and girls, that's Wait, when not, you'd be not like, the, <laughs> "Come on, you can't talk about J, J and your D you and then talk about little boys groups? and girls." <laughs> yeah, you can't go right into youth groups after Jack and all. No, off. like Come in on. high school, you know what I mean? You, that's that would be like the one thing you'd do. They'd like they'd split you up boys and girls, and they'd be like, "So who's looking at porn?" And everybody would be like, "You got me," you know? Like that's what. Who did that? <laughs> everyone. Everybody. <laughs> that didn't happen to me. Oh well, I mean, I didn't go to that either, but I, that's what I assume that they everyone did. You do it? <laughs> everyone no, never, is jerking off. Why would if if anyone in that room admitted to not watching porn, they're the fucking freaks, yeah, and they weird. should get picked on. It's weird if yeah. you're not. Yeah, can't remember who that's who's been it was. Yes, <laughs> pick nerd, on kids that don't nerd, jack dick. Nerd, touch yourself, freak. <laughs> oh, it was Metzger. Uh, <laughs> Come on your Metzger's belly or on your bed for the one time. <laughs> Remember What's Metzger's, Metzger's bit, bit where he's like, hey, do you know what happens if you don't jack off for long enough? And he looks around like at the audience for a second and goes, no right, one. No one knows. No one will ever know. <laughs> it's such a good bit. It was. It was so good. Uh, Metzger was, we didn't even talk about it. Metzger was phenomenal. Oh, yeah, my dude, God. Yeah, oh, I, yeah, I totally him. forgot that Holy we did. What we a good time. Over that. Yeah, that was Thanks a for show. I like the, the first night I'm talking to him. He's like, yeah, it's a, it's a lot of stuff I'm not real sure about yet. And I'm like. Seemed like a polished ass hour to me. Like, <laughs> yeah, dude. Jeremy had a fucking a good little setup yeah, there. Dude, and Anthony DeVito, he's uh, apparently he the rules. My, apparently in my opinion, double he was my favorite. Well, you liked Anthony DeVito better than Metzger? I did. I don't know. I'm a Metzger fan. I liked them both though. They both got up there and fucking yeah. crushed it. Here's the thing: what you saw with DeVito, it literally wasn't even like stuff he has in his hour right now. Yeah. It was all just extra stuff. So they were double booked. He was supposed to headline. Uh oh. And then something like one of the dates got swapped for, I guess Metzger's date got swapped uh, for something, uh, whatever. Yeah. So they were overlapped. So oh, shit. DeVito still got paid. All right. But he just did like all new stuff that he's thinking of like <clears throat> switching in or adding to. So that whole like set you saw of him, not none of that's in his full hour that he's doing. Yeah. That's, that's all like it. newer stuff that he's working with. And it fucking murdered. Yeah. Dude, Devito rules. I was, I was. He didn't want to hang out though. I was like, damn, dude, I wish I could hang out Devito. with Devito. Well, he's, his, uh, his girls, and his girls here with oh, him, yes. and uh, like, I guess her family lives somewhere around here, so he's like hanging out with his nieces. He's also and all a shit. fucking nerd. So, dude, yeah. Metzger hung out. Metzger was cool <laughs> as shit. He was just like regular as fuck. I mean, he's hilarious to hang out with too, because he's fucking yeah. crazy, Kurt Metzger. But he's like, I don't know, just a good dude. He just seemed like a good all around dude and funny as fuck. The, one of the funniest fucking comics I've ever. Also, if you get a chance also to see looked Metzger, like he would fucking backstab you without a fucking second without thought. a second thought <laughs> not one more thought just looking at it does he or was that just like a, are it. you projecting that buddy he's no. projecting it 100 okay. <laughs> no he looks like that yeah <laughs> Did All you right. ever see Luis J. Gomez almost fight fucking Kurt Metzger because Metzger was being so disrespectful to Lewis for years, for just years of being a dick to Lewis and then fucking Lewis couldn't take it anymore? Yeah, I saw that, that whole stage <laughs> confrontation where they were throwing cups at each other and yeah. shit, yeah. Screaming. Jay's like, how come I fucking... Oh, all right, what am I going to rehash? When is that Lewis J ago? and uh, Jason Ellis fight going to happen? Skankfest just happened, didn't it? Yeah. Did it happen Ellis at Skankfest? No, 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 no. They're supposed to do Ellis Mania to do the fucking the event. Fight. I think that's in April. It's going to oh, be okay. a... Gr it's forever I feel like away. they've been talking about this for like years. five years. Years they've been talking about this. Golly. Skankfest, all this shit that, had, that came through Skankfest was fucking awesome. I just... I've been watching it all on fucking YouTube. They have so many... Good ass fucking bits. Whitney Cumming, not my favorite comedian, on a coolness level. One of the I like coolest her ladies ever. But on the level that she's willing to go to for, co she was getting her finger, her pussy fingered on stage by some big fat giant. Rubbed. Ru all right, rubbed on a little bit, and she's like playing with his little. This guy. I don't know if you're a fan of that world of comedy, the gas digital shit, but the there's a they gave him a golden pass. So basically, this guy can cut the, every single line. But the way to win it is they had a little dick competition, and he won the little dick competition so of off. the Legion of Skanks fans. So imagine 
the already little dick fan base of the Legion of Skanks, now the worst of the worst. This Crowd guy wins smallest. it. He's on stage, and Lewis is like, can I feel it? And he's like, go ahead. And he's like reaching around for it, like, dude, I can't find his dick. And then Whitney's like, can I can I get in there? And she's fingering his dick, and she's like, I feel bad about this. She was fumbling around that to for me? like 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah for like a long time. Like we're... A long time. Yeah, it's wild. Do you want to see it? <laughs> I just... mean, I um, do. I have a choice. It's a <laughs> you do. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know. You can say no. I also, I have a surprise coming. A surprise coming? Yep. <laughs> Did you accidentally double book? No. He's beating no. off underneath the table. Is that on YouTube? Can they put that on YouTube? Yeah, yep. I didn't think they could, but they fucking 100 percent did it. It was crazy. <clears throat> I uh, I opened for Big J one time. How did that go? Um, it was actually really fun. I bet because <laughs> I went up with my little like little I'm cute. Big J and, rules. Uh, and like his crowd was su- super sick because they're just into jokes. Yeah. Um. And yeah, it was. He's so nice. I was oh, like yeah. kind of scared of him because like I don't know. I had never seen anything he had done really. I just I'd seen like some crowd work stuff and I'd seen like I don't know. He wears gloves and he's got like <laughs> he's and he's got like a streak of his hair dyed. He's probably scary. Yeah. But no, he was so nice. He was really cool dude. Carter said the same thing. Carter yeah. said he was super nice. Yeah, everyone I know has ever worked with him is just yeah. like he's one of the best. Though. He yeah. he started to sweat though because he because he had opened for him uh, once at the Funny Bone and then yeah. and then he uh, uh, Big J told him like. Yeah, hey, like you. Uh, if you want to come up and open for me again in uh, like Columbus in a yeah, couple yeah. of weeks, and then he disappeared. And he uh, and oh, uh, yeah, Carter and I are doing through? a show, and uh, he goes, "Well, he told me I was going to open for him in Columbus, and I haven't heard anything, and that's in like two days." But he <laughs> actually did get in contact, and he didn't right. go back. He get, he ended up there and opened for him. Yeah, he that's does everything it. pretty last minute. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> here it is. I got it. Took me a minute. Where's your finger, dude? Is this it? Jay's trying to find it right now. So this is after Lewis tried. Jay tried to. And, uh... Whitney feel it. Oh, wait. Why? It's not playing through the fucking... I'm sorry, guys, if you're listening to this. That's my fault. I didn't have the thing switched through. Did I? I think I did. Yeah, I was going to say I really did think I would... I'm glad we're not, like, seeing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you're going to see it. Oh, his dick? No, you won't be able oh, to see okay. it. Oh, okay. Even if he took his pants off, you wouldn't be able to see his dick. You're like if Tommy ate the Bahamas. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking you gotta, you gotta give it a fuck, <laughs> It's crazy. It's crazy. Did you think you did, just dicks, did it not so hard after it. that? Can all? I tell you something? Huh. You're not, you, I'll challenge. Fix your face. It's impossible for you to touch his dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. You it. gotta do a little digging. <laughs> <laughs> She digs around for a minute, then she's like, "Hold on." By the way, I don't think it's I don't think it's right to call it Caitlyn Jenner's dick. I think that's all right, Dave. Fucking cell of self-esteem that you didn't even fucking get hard when I did that. Don't blame yourself. Oh, it's working, dude. You're like negging her right now. (laughs) (laughs) You know, Whitney, you probably couldn't do anything to get this guy hard. I'm a childless woman at 40 who wears Doc Martens, okay? And occasionally dyes my hair. So Men you say, that. but this guy's all fucking noodle Lifkowitz over here. <laughs> <laughs> I think this guy might fuck Whitney tonight. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm sorry, we're just watching another co- another funnier than us <laughs> podcast, but yeah. this is the craziest moment fucking that I've ever seen on a podcast. That, like, you got Whitney Cummings, who's a multi millionaire, feeling little tiny dick. Like, she doesn't have to do this. There's no reason that she needs to be here doing this. But the best part is coming. Yeah, this guy hard. <laughs> give me, know, just give me 20 point. minutes. Hold on, I'll just I'll get to it. Yeah, I'm like, pregnant chick. Just need to get hard. <laughs> yeah, she's like. Plus. Dude, what an awesome day this guy's having. Wait. Look at this. What the fuck? Okay. Do you? What's happening? I'll tell you what's happening. What? Zach, Wait, you chubbing up over there? I I feel before. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Here. Hello. What's up? Oh, oh, my gosh. oh. oh Breezy's here. Breezy's here. Yay. What's up, Breezy Lee? How's that was it going? A, that was your Kramer entrance. That was yeah, wonderful. Yeah, right? Hell yeah. What do we got here? <laughs> what is this? Heidi surprise. Concern, you got a surprise? Oh, yeah. It's yeah. kind of with a little, with right? little thing. Right? Exactly. It's We're a just... big lighter surprise? <laughs> mm-hmm. How are you? Why are you reading the fucking box? Just wait a fucking second and be surprised. I can't be surprised if I can see the box. Jeez. 
Are you Wait, is it extra big podcast? lighter? How about uh, you just fucking shut up? I, I appear from time to time. Okay. You yeah. are like Heidi from time to time. I know. Okay. I have my own podcast. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Look at oh, this. Oh, dude, no fucking Look way. This. What? Whoa. Where did you get these? Hold this up. Hold this up. Had I made. Put this up to oh, uh, fun. Your, your, your camera. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's so oh, sick. My, I can't see the cameras. Cause hold up. Just babies. hold it up here. Hold it up here. Oh, that's sick. All right. Give me, give me, give me. Yeah, so you have to see the one he had made for me. That's fucking sick. I seen it to him. I saw it in your story, Uh, yeah. Yeah, they made sure to show me downstairs. Oh, my God. I love this. Hey, we got a new lighter down here. I was like, bet you did. That's awesome. Thanks for bringing that, Breezy. Hey, no problem. Everybody check out Magic Hour. Everybody hit up Breezy Lee's comedy showcase on November the 16th at 8 p.m. at Chameleon. Go and check that out. We got all kinds of fucking cool comics on that shit. You're going to love it. Luke's there. Fucking Breezy's doing comedy there. Bye, Breezy. Uh, Bye. Fucking Jeremy Johnson's doing comedy. I think Zach's on it. It's going to be a fucking... Zach's not on it. I lied. It's going to be a crazy lineup. Go and check that shit out. Uh, dude, this is sick. Thanks for Take getting these made. That's really reason, cool. I, do not, I, um, I, I don't light up too often. Let me get but one that, of those. That, that, candles or something. But those are sick. I don't want to steal those. I don't know about those like, like prayer candles. Or... <laughs> no, I, gotta not I do. Use I am it. a bad candle boy. I love some can- I love TJ Maxx candles. Oh my goodness, dude. I got like... I got a candle graveyard Lloyd, in my house. It's this wonderful. is so cool, dude. Yeah, yeah. Those little... are very cool. This is so cool, dude. Who's this little guy? Who's, is, <clears throat> has he got a name? Uh, he's uh, the bastard. Yeah. It's, oh, okay. Sure. It's uh, the Eamon Hill design. He's the jerk. Everybody hit up Eamon Hill. Go get a tattoo. He did it for us. Yeah. That's All the guy right. named, made it. He walked in one time with a fucking... That dude came and did the show, and then he, he had just drawn us like a... Kind of this character, this little monk with a fucking big uh, a stein of beer, and it says, "Thanks for having us, you bastards." And I was like, "I really like that guy, the guy oh, for nice. the monk, because the original logo is that tattoo with the the dude that looks like that." And then he drew that, and I was like, "I like his like fryer haircut look," and we yeah. commissioned him to do that, and he whipped out this sick ass design that we sat on for forever. And when Lloyd became the new host of the show, we were like, "Let's use this design for the branding, like rebrand nice. everything." Nice. That's shit. sick. Are you gonna get it? No, Redone? no, this is, I'm not, yeah, I'm going to cover my arm in all bastard servant tattoos. What a That'd douche be, That's the start. That's no, I've the thought start. about getting like that, like that, almost that logo, but with this in the middle, since like this is the one that we've used since I've been here. Are you going to get one? You're gonna I was thinking about it. Yeah. Do it. That'd be fucked. But get it a belly piece so you can really show Oh, that'd be sick. I was going to do it like. <laughs> what, what would oh, it take? That'd be awesome, man. Because uh, I've already. Yeah, yeah, you run out of real estate. Yeah, yeah, sure. What would it take for you to get a tattoo of me on you? Uh, pay for it. Okay, sure. Really? All right. All right. You, you, heard it. It, you heard it here first, folks. You got $250? Sure put an upside down cross behind it. <laughs> yeah, afterwards. <laughs> hey, that's it. You know. It's going to say, Jesus loves you. But yes. not me. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that's kind of hard. Whoa. This yeah, is, I love that. This is a question. I like See? that a lot. See? <laughs> this is a question. Since I mean, It's going to be heavy, Jesus, so I'm sorry. It's like, <laughs> you're a Christian comic. I got to talk about it. I've got sure. lots of questions. How do you get... How do you hang out with these scumbags and degenerates that are comedians? All comedians are just a bunch of fucking because animals. Like, nice like, like, like the way like he does right now. Just drinking, <laughs> drinking, drug sniffing, drug smoking fucking animals. That's all comedians. And you're just amongst them. Being funny is the craziest part to me. Oh, I can imagine if you're like a boring ass, nobody wants. But you're fucking hilarious. People oh, like thanks, you. They book you on showcases and shit. Like, what's thanks, the, how do you fucking, how do you get hooked up without being one of, one of those psychopaths? <laughs> By I being don't know. funny, yeah, okay. I but don't know. Funny first. Every every comic to me, or all the comics I respect, funny first. Yeah, you know? doesn't matter who you are. It matters if you get funny. Yeah. And mm-hmm. Zach is funny as shit. So I think it just oh, it, thanks, buddy. he's just a nice person who's not like oh fuck you because you're different than me. Yeah. <clears throat> he's yeah. better than us, is what I'm saying. Oh no, no, I would never say that aloud. But I'll wait till the podcast I, uh... <laughs> is done. Let's just wait. Do you approve uh, Lloyd's answer to the question I asked you? Though? Yeah. Do you like? Do you like? Do you sign off on that? Yeah, you nailed that. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. I, I. Uh... Well, moving on. Next question. <laughs> no, this is good. You Thanks, should ask Lloyd. him more questions for me. Uh... Sure. What's his dick looking like? <laughs> now. No, um, I don't know, man. I just like. Love dare you. folks. Who'd, and and here's the thing. I grew up listening to Christian comedy, and most of it is bad. Um, so I, I was like, what if there was that, but it, like good? And uh, yeah. the the only place I know that like good comedy happens is in like clubs and stuff. So I just want to you know be around people who are doing it good. Who are your boys? Who are the people that you're like? I gotta boys? listen to this. Like, what was the fucking like what's... influences? Yeah, exactly. Yes. Um, I mean, I love Mulaney. Um. I love, uh, you know, um, 
Seinfeld's hacky to answer. Why is it I hacky? like Berbiglia. Why is it hacky? Ah. Berbiglia rules. I don't Berbiglia like Seinfeld, rules. but he's yeah. right yeah. up until you meet him. Is he a cunt? <laughs> <laughs> well, Berbiglia is not doing the show anymore. Because <laughs> that was on the table. <laughs> it was? No. <clears throat> Fuck no. I was like, fuck this guy. Fuck that shit. Dude. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? <laughs> No, I That's would, fucking I'd love to have him on. Yeah, like, <laughs> I'd love to have him on talking about, hey, why did you act like this? What did go you bananas. Do? Tell your Mike Birbiglia story. Fuck his comedy influences. <laughs> uh, I don't care. Let's hear no. how Mike Birbiglia is an asshole. Finish that. All right. We're right. No, yeah, no, he was. Uh, about it. It's when uh, Kyle and Rand both worked at Go Bananas and they were there and they like they were in the back having some dumbass conversation about like poop or something. Right. And sure. he came back and he was like, Ugh, all right, well, I'm ordering a pizza. Just whatever. And they're kind of like, hey, man, what, what's up? And he's just like, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't want to walk into a kitchen and hear people talking about poop. What? And he just went in the green room and That's pouted. maybe the only thing I wanted to talk about. You're at a comedy <laughs> club. Isn't that all the conversation? Right. Oh, everything about poop? It, just, I, it wasn't just those two, but those two were the ones that were in the But there, pretty much everyone around it was like, oh, cool. Way to be a fun guy. <laughs> Don't and then the rest you, of the week, and it just didn't get any better. You're supposed to warm up for a comedy show by being absolutely serious. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how you get loose? And driven. Be a cunt. Stagnant. I mean, stand by your beliefs hard and never, ever sure. look at any possibility. Don't or waver. Different look. Never, waver. never waver. Sure. Don't I mean, buy I was, the book, kids. Yeah. Buy the book. Yeah. <laughs> I was doing my taxes before I walked up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I get it. That's what I do. That's what he calls jerking off, doing his thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's still dependent. No dependence. Doing my devil taxes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a song. It's fun. Oh, uh, all right. Well, how do you stay? Uh, I guess this would have been a better question. How do you hang out with these degenerates and oh, stay man. faithful? How do you stay faithful? I don't know, dude. This? Like, I don't know, because I, I love you guys. Aren't you, you tempted? Know? Aren't you tempted, though? Like, you see people getting fucking wild and crazy and <laughs> fucking hookers and doing cocaine. And Whoa. Aren't you like, I don't know what parties you're at, there. dude. I'm <laughs> 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 I feel like I am not invited to those parties. Better ones. <laughs> I'm at better parties. And yeah. He's at scary parties. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he hangs out with nothing but bridge people. He's bridge at- people? <laughs> He's at parties where, like, someone could show up and everyone's like, shut up, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, nah, like, nah, not right now. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's what, what happens when I walk through the door. I'm like, hey, guys, I used to be a cop. And you're like, uh, we know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. Did you used to be a cop? I wasn't a cop. I was a probation officer. But, like, when you have a gun and a badge and you take people to jail... It's kind of hard to tell people you're not a cop. Yeah, you're the police at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've been the police for yeah. sure. I've been, I've heard twelve shouted at me a couple times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Wear, I used to bust wear a uniform. Ah, uh, I my uniform was khakis. You so were so under, so I, I so you were, the difference. So you were undercover. Got it. Yeah, uh, his so, uniform uh, has never changed. <laughs> he does have the haircut of a man that somewhere in his closet he has a T-shirt that says "snitching his bitching" on it somewhere. Like you I, think I do? Yeah. Oh, you have a look. Thank on your, you. He doesn't wear curse words on his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's no. bitching. Isn't bitching not a curse word? I actually I remember right. back when he was. Uh, I don't even know if I knew you were a comic, or maybe I did, but uh, when you were working at the zoo, mm-hmm. and we were having a conversation behind Birdhouse, and I was like, that kid's fucking funny. Like, oh, <laughs> thanks, man. I remember <clears throat> I remember so little of the zoo. I feel like I should be able to write like a million bits about it, because it's an insane place to work. I, mean, I remember did... nothing. <clears throat> I remember the peacocks attacking children. That's yeah, all I, I remember. Say, you did security, so you were <clears throat> you were just <laughs> responding to like yeah. the, the dumb shit guests do. Like Right. I remember, would be like, "Hey, get out of there!" And they'd be like, "Ah, we don't respect you." And then they, <laughs> and then they'd leave. And then I remember they, the one day I was get fucking attacked by a gorilla. <laughs> I remember one day I was there, and all of a sudden they need Zach res- and his gun. Security responded to something <laughs> down by uh, uh, it was like right side outside of like the bird show thing, hmm. and then someone called me and was like, "Hey, can you go down there and make sure everything's okay?" And I was like, "Why? What <laughs> is going on?" And they're like, "Well, we sent security down there, but..." It's still going on. <laughs> I think this might was be before, I there? No, I think this was before you were there. Oh, that's funny. That <laughs> but would I walked be really down there funny and like, like a lot of security guards backup. not to pick a, not a huge Zach's not a huge imposing guy. <clears throat> and that's a lot of the security was the I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> a lot of security got, well, it was like smaller guys that were not real aggressive. Mm-hmm. So they went sure. down there and like there's two giant dudes about to get into a fucking fist fight and they're trying to break it up. And these dudes are literally just pushing the security guards aside and walking back towards each other over and over. And, like, one punch got thrown, and no one did anything about it. 
Because they're so it just kept escalating. So I come walking down. Me and Tony Lewis, who you know, yeah, Tony's my size, bald, covered in tattoos. <clears throat> and we walk down there. We're like, all right, guys, fucking piss off. You're walking different directions, or one of you leaves. <clears throat> and they were like, oh yeah, cool man, sorry. <laughs> and the oh, instant resolution. They just instantly, they're like, oh, excuse me, sir, I'm oh, yeah. so sorry. <laughs> guys twice our size coming Pardon up, and telling us to stop. That's that's way more. Why did you guys send the child with the beard and the top haircut? <laughs> what was he gonna do? <clears throat> but I mean, it it's was my whole brand. I'm a toddler like, with uh, a beard, baby. John, I think Lucignolo was the biggest guy there. Yeah, he's not. The did biggest. you say John Leguizamo? <laughs> Lucignolo. It's <laughs> he's dressed up like the violator, though. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> Because it would be. <laughs> no, but yeah, uh, John's not a big dude, and he's not a uh, intimidating physique. Yeah, the yeah. kind of small shouldered guy. And uh, yeah, has, but... his name sounds like a, p- a pasta. It's hard to be. <laughs> it's hard it's, to be intimidating. <clears throat> sounds like Which... an Olive Garden dish. Does John, yeah. John Lucas know? Lucas know. I lose ignore. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to. But yeah, as soon as me and Tony walk down, I'm like, "Hey guys, uh, you're not gonna get in a fight at the zoo. You can either fuck off and be cool, or one of you leaves." And they were like, "Yep." Word. <laughs> totally fine. And the security guys are all looking at us like <laughs> just bummed out. <laughs> hey. I just imagine hard. but I imagine Lloyd's also because he's got a saw fucking like goats apart, so he's covered in like a leather face outfit with bloody gloves on. I was like, wearing a fucking I, I was that. wearing a lab coat for that's all. all that's all I would wear. Were you that's covered in blood? blood? No, I mean my lab coat has blood all over the it. The mango skin of a giraffe just Yeah, I would have also face. listened to you. But it wasn't like super bloody. It was fairly new at that time. <laughs> so it just had little red spots here and there. That's scary enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I, like, I literally walked down there. I had the lab coat like open. Yeah. So it looked like just like a old Could west you, duster. Like, how do you, how would the zoo take it if you hollowed out a giraffe head and wore that? <laughs> would they be That's... Would they be super chill about that? Where, where do you work? I'm security. <laughs> like I would have loved nothing more than to come down there with like a goat leg as a club, like. <laughs> Are we doing this, guys? Are we doing this? Take a bite out of it. <laughs> like, now like you're the just fur like, and everything. Like some sort of weird shamanic like security guard. Like your flashlight is like a jar full of lightning bugs. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like that coat like is your baton. That is very. You don't have pepper spray. You just have a jar full of bees. <laughs> <laughs> Are we, do- are we gonna do this, boys? Yeah. Are we gonna no, do we this? Fuck with anybody. Oh, hey, what, hey, <laughs> smoke he bomb. A- <laughs> <laughs> he, is, he is bugs equipped at his hip. He is a bloody stone. Does he have a Ziploc bag full of hornets? I'm, you know what? I'm resolving wait, wait, this wait, fight. Wait. Are, those, are those bullet ants? Are those fucking uh, bullet ants? Yeah. I'm out. Bullet ants. I'm, I'm out. High I'm out. enough of a level for this. Boss. Is that a, a, a <laughs> traditional African bullet ant club? Oh no! We gotta get out of here. Is that a bu- this guy means business? It's a bullet ant mask. You just oh, God. <laughs> fight oh, over. Oh, 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 no thanks. No. Zach, are you familiar with bullet ants? Because if you're not... I am. I've been right. to no, the you're insects. actually wearing the mask, but there's nothing in it yet. But when you get your victims, then you dump the fucking bugs in it. Mm, and you you just Nicholas Cage yeah, from Wicker yeah, Man? For a, the not the bees? <laughs> the Dude, what? Dude, if Lloyd came up with just honey and bees in his beard, just... <laughs> Ran up. What's going on, fellas? We doing this? If like, someone told just, me from like, is he a druid? <laughs> <laughs> if someone told me from a football field away that you had a beard full of bees, I would ten million percent. You, <laughs> should, that. Yeah. you should wear everything we described for Halloween Please. outfit <laughs> next year. But, and when people ask <laughs> you, like, hey, what are you? And you're just like, I'm me. Like, I'm, this is like what? Me. This is when I worked at the zoo. But like, what do you mean? Who? I'm, what am I? I'm me. I'm, yeah. This no, was Lloyd's third shift. I'm not wearing a costume. <laughs> third shift, Lloyd. Yeah, dude. That'd be I sick, dude. You That'd be terrifying. Be... Late night security of the well, man, use a chainsaw out. for those. Hollowed out for rap once, head. So I'm not really allowed to talk about that. <laughs> sure. <laughs> but he's got one Lightning of the eyes. bug and wasp jar equipped. Fucking bloody stuff. <clears throat> Here's one thing I do Just remember. Just a bullet ant blow darts. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, fuck, it it straight into your body, bullet ants. <laughs> we so we did have like we had bear spray, which like have you guys ever messed with? They bear gave spray? you guys bear spray. They gave us bear spray. Yeah. And shit? Did you, oh yeah. Did you just say if you guys ever messed with bear spray? Like gave, that's what we were gonna. Well, wait, you can buy you bear do? spray hey, at hey, the on, store. Wait, wait. In his defense, I have. So. Why? Yeah. Why are you doing this? Doesn't it come out like a, a pile of foam? Isn't that no? Wild? No. It's, it's like just like a, spray. like a rust colored mist. Oh yeah. God! And it's death, right? It's just pure it's, death immediately. It's not great. Did they make you take it? Well, uh, 
No, but yeah, they story. were like, you have to, you have to spray it all over your dick and balls, otherwise you, <laughs> well, you're mean, not allowed to carry fucking bear mace. And the sergeant goes to speak up, like, no, yeah, he's right. That is the rules. That's <laughs> what we make everyone do. Uh, the, well, they, you know, they do it in the military, which, which I mean, I'm sure there's some benefit to it. I <laughs> right. don't get. Because they, they run, like a, tased, they run right? security at the sure, Cincinnati but Zoo, but you might like get the shot military. too. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Like shoot them with guns. You well, know, I mean, so they know what fucking get How shot. Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just so you're prepared mentally <laughs> when it's like to get fucking you're not shot fit. up. Yeah. No, I get it. It sucks. Like, why do I need to get fucking tased first? One of his old bosses like used to stand like this all the time. Sorry. I'm like, dude, you're not. He was like a retired you're... marine. Yeah, and I think he was a cop for a little while. Oh, no, he, okay. He was always fucking at like, arms. But he would, yeah, he would always act like he was like flexing on you, and you're like, but you're not at physically ease, cut dude. at all. Like you're not impo. I he was, was tall. I was scared. <laughs> <clears throat> like I, if I'll you gave me like a, ass. if you gave me like a ten to one odds mm-hmm. <clears throat> that he would land more than one hit. Mm-hmm. I'd have taken it. Yeah. Why was it? Why do they make these guys the head of security? Because the it's the that... fucking zoo. It's a... well, yeah. All it right. couldn't be me. It couldn't be like, oh, excuse me, sir, get down from there. <laughs> like it couldn't be. It couldn't be that. But also, like, it's the zoo. Like, what, who do you think? Well, yeah, you're, yeah. you're not gonna kill? find fucking Tony Alverson from fucking SEAL Team, whatever. Who fucking he just slid. He's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna take twelve dollars an hour to work yeah, at the zoo, dude. <laughs> like, I did. in what my you, head, wait, I was he... like, don't they have Chris Kyle snipers at every corner <laughs> of the zoo? Wait, would that still be called the SEAL team? Come on. <laughs> Come on, guys. Yeah. There it is. There's the clip. <laughs> My man. The secret is they're actually the SEALs. There's no real SEAL team. That's the SEAL team. Our SEAL team 6 yeah. was just 18 sea lions. Because <laughs> right. most people can't tell the difference. That's no, they're, at, they're sea wearing lions the ears. Like, tusk. Right. They're the in ears. the skin suits. Was it wildly emasculating being a fucking a security guard? Like, and oh. just no one respecting your th- authority at all? So, so it must I mean, have been scared of you and listened, right? I mean, obviously, I'm the peak alpha male, so it oh, wasn't really sure. a big problem for me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hurtful. Um, no. I, no. <laughs> Zach, like, no. kid throws a soda on the ground and fucking Zach's like, P- can you pick that up and throw it away? And he's like, can you suck my dick right now? He just keeps walking. I was like, that's a strong point. That's a strong point, young he's man. Like, he's like, hard, hard to argue, dude. The kid's got a hoodspot. I don't know what it is. <laughs> now he gets a call. Hey, the peacocks are attacking people. He runs out like, hey, stop. And yells at the peacock. And the peacock's like, nah. Like, Knock you. Peacock attacks Zach instead. That's, that's the thing. The peacocks. So we had only male peacocks. So they would, you know, they, they couldn't mate. Right. It's kind of. They're and filled with sin. It's, honestly, I related to these peacocks a lot, <laughs> and they would get all grumpy, and then that they I didn't do I didn't do this part. They would like attack children. <laughs> I don't do that. That's not my thing. I just come on podcasts and no, talk. That's about what it, the but. bear mace <laughs> is for. Oh yeah, so Tell the bear, us mace. The bear mace, Oh yeah, so yeah. the bear mace. So um, we uh, so we would always like sit down for like big like. You know, meetings to talk about like what we were gonna do that week. Here's the plan. How we were gonna beat up people. Yeah, dude. Here's if one of them slips, freaking okay, backhand yeah, them. Yeah. You know, that's they taught us all the moves. Don't remember. <laughs> don't forget that hammer kick we learned at fucking camp last. That's summer, right. Dude. You'd be surprised how I love far security you... guard summer camp. <laughs> <laughs> you get to find out how far you can punt a red panda. Uh, but no. Uh, <laughs> so we would sit down for these. We'd always have like pizza or food or whatever, which is like a real security guard move. Move, right? That like sounds never... sick, though. Yeah. That sounds it was so awesome. Sick. Hanging out around the Pizza zoo with your <laughs> weapons with fucking no need to use them and just get greasy ass pe- fucking pizza pepperoni fingers. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that sounds awesome. That's great. You can't right get before... the little red clip right. out of your hey, bear mace. Anyway, yeah, go, go ahead. So, yeah, keep going. Sorry, so Zach. which it's always, no, it's always, yeah. I just thought it was hilarious. Like, of course, security guards are going to sit around and have food. You've never seen a movie yeah. where security guards aren't like, yeah. mm, like, like, Cheeto, Cheeto dust on their beards or whatever. Right. So we all sit Observe down for this delicious meal of pizza, yeah. and then all of a sudden someone starts like <clears throat> coughing, and then everybody starts running. Everybody starts running out, and it turns out one of the dudes like sat down on his bear spray and sprayed the entire room. Oh uh, no! Is, and uh, <clears throat> the best part was uh, the pizza was the first thing to leave the room. We were someone was like, "We got to save the pizza." There's a baby <laughs> crying next to the pizza. Yeah. <laughs> they left three people in that room. No there was locked them in. There was a. <laughs> <laughs> they saved the pizza, but like three of the smaller guys. Just left behind. <laughs> Grab she the should... triple meat. You can hear you can hear him screaming in the distance while dude's just chomping away at a big fat ass slice. <laughs> Open the door. So I was Open terrible. The door. I was but always he can't terrible. Hear the smacking was. I can't. I, I called last slice. They're There's trying no to open more. the door, but their hands are all slippery from the pizza. <laughs> 
No. So I was always terrible about carrying my radio. So I didn't always know what was happening. Like there'd be times when you'd hear something over the radio, like, oh, this happened over here. <clears throat> and I was delivering to one of the departments and someone had done a similar thing, except they dropped it out of like the holster and the whole top broke off. So the can just emptied oh. Golly. <clears throat> into like their break room. Yeah. Well, I went, to go room. I went to go deliver something <clears throat> to that department and uh, I didn't see anybody because apparently they all went like get the face wash stuff and all that. Yeah. And I opened that fucking door and I was like, <gasps> oh <my God. laughs> and slam the door closed. And I gotta come, I come walking oh, back out, sucks. and I've got just like snot and tears oh, pouring out of my so fucking, fucking mouth. Mad. You Dude, just hit a wall of bear maze. I was. Fuck. I, I come walking back out, and uh, Misty oh, was in the truck. Yeah. Misty was over there with me, and Misty Hold looked on, at me. Can like, we appreciate how much this fucking lunatic is losing his mind at the idea of you just being wrecked by a bear maze? <laughs> I've never seen somebody get so excited about other people's misery. I maintain it that makes he, me so happy. Hey, I maintain that he hates me a little bit. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Before the podcast started, he was like, "I think Luke doesn't like me anymore." I was like, "What? Why?" And he's like, "I don't know. He's weird." Yesterday, and I was like, "What?" No, I love yeah. you. <laughs> but no, yeah. Like I opened the door and I was immediately like, "So I've been uh, maced by the police," and that took like good a good thirty seconds. Like at first, I was like, "Man, fuck they were your using mace. the wrong." <laughs> You're using the uh, wrong brand. Well, they had like the giant Miracle Grow <laughs> container. It was down at Pepsi Jam on Main when everything turned into a riot. Oh. And I was like a hammered 17 year old. What? Someone took a swing next to me. And I'm like, what the fuck? And then someone comes like towards me. And I'm like, fuck that. And so just start hitting people. Because, <laughs> you know, I was hammered and I was. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh... You know, the next natural thing you should do. The thing any of us would have done. Somebody hit somebody. Hey, you throw a 17-year-old autistic fucking kickboxer into a group full of people throwing punches. I'm, I just start throwing punches, too. And then sure. all of a sudden, I'm at the edge of that crowd. Everybody was drunk and fighting. <laughs> <laughs> but all of a sudden... No, it's still racist. But yeah, it's, yeah, all, all of a sudden, I'm at the edge of the crowd, and I'm like, all right, cool, I'm out. And then I realized, no, I just came to where the cops were, and everyone was moving the other way. And the cop just literally, it looked like a giant stainless steel miracle grow container, like you would screw on the end of a hose, but it had like a hand, it was just like, <laughs> every fucking body. And I literally get it across, like, <laughs> and I, I was like, for about 15 seconds, I was like, man, fuck your mace, Bubba. And all of a sudden, you go to 30 seconds, I'm on the, on the ground, like, <laughs> <laughs> do you think there's a <laughs> do you think there was a gardener at the police department that ever got those bottles mixed up I hope so <laughs> like there was like some miracle grow and they were like oh god <laughs> it's like, I'm gonna get the weeds out here on the side <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh, my first was, my first thought was terrible because I ran over to one of the big tubs and started splashing the water on my face yeah which makes it worse yeah, it just ran it down, so now I had, right. like, chemical burns yeah, all the way down nipples. to, like, here. Your nipples are just roasting now? Yeah, I, like, for, like, the next week and a half, like, there's a, a weird triangle of, like, just uh, super bright red. Like, it looked like the worst sunburn. What do you have to do? you have to wipe, wipe, wipe cream in your eyes, or is that, what's the move? <laughs> so, uh, after that didn't work, I ripped one of the fucking banners down that was on, like, kind of like a canvas thing like this, and I just start, like, scraping until I can see again. And then I literally, like, wiped my face, and there was so much snot came out of strings in my nose that it looked like, like when you pull a cheese stick apart. Oh, God. oh that's a like, good Wah. mozzarella right there. And, uh, yeah, and then I, I walked to the car. The mace and face mozzarella? Yeah. I'm trying to get some mozz right now. <laughs> I, I walk, How did that make you hungry? <laughs> <clears throat> I go back to the, the car, wrong with and you? we had to ride home with all the windows down because even, like, with it not actively being spread, it just it being on me and that close to everybody, they were all gagging and coughing and shit the whole way home. Yeah. Oh, you had like residual. Yeah, like just it being on, on me. It. Like, I mean, it hit me. I mean, from about as far away as me and him are right yeah. now. The guy's just like, <sighs> God damn. Everybody. Hey, so that guy rules. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that dude does rape a little bit. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> No, yeah, that was great. How have we never heard this story before? I don't know. It's just, it's one of the. If you that's just, sick. if you could just think about anything violent that could happen to a person, Lloyd will fucking <laughs> unlock a new memory that he forgot. About. <laughs> you gotta How think of Memory unlocked. Oh, actually, yeah, my boss almost cut his hand off with a with a hatchet one time. I watched somebody. Yeah, <laughs> please. I watched somebody. I told you. I fucking told you, dude. 
Well, Shot in the dark. He's of course he has an axe attack story. Well, well actually, well, my, my friend crashed uh, in an airplane and he survived in Canada with a hatchet <laughs> for a couple of months. <laughs> that was a, it was a self inflicted hatchet wound. But I watched a guy like uh, when I early 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 days at the zoo. Uh, there was one of the horticulture guys was like trying to trying to take off a tree branch and it went through and he just goes and like the right the outside of his fucking knee and he whips it out real quick but he, no! like, he let go and it just went into the fucking air. And everybody like scatters, <laughs> and all of a sudden it's just like blood bubbling out of him. Like, wait, he threw the axe behind him into a crowd yeah. of people. <laughs> well, it was before the zoo. Was, <laughs> it was actually before the zoo was open for the day, but like it two was, horrific <laughs> mistakes. Pull, yeah, you know, <laughs> let's pull it out so I really start gushing blood out of my veins, and then also let me just chuck it like a cartoon character behind me. All right, but let's say a uh, full you of know babies. how much funnier it'd be if he killed someone. <laughs> Let's say this is the whole axe, the hatchet head. He only sunk about that much of it oh. into his leg. It was just that bottom corner. <sighs> but he, like, whipped it out so quick that it just went in the air. And, like, it, I mean, it only landed, like, two feet behind him. Uh -huh. But the blood bubbling out, and he was like, he looks around, he's like, ah, 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 ah. And uh, Deb, uh, Zarek, she just looked over, like, are you okay? And he's like, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> That wouldn't have happened on like, my watch. Uh, that I would was like, me in security. Uh, no I way. would like to say that this I handled that like a uh, like a professional. But no, I laughed my fucking You laughed? Dick. Yes. <laughs> this man was about to lose a leg and you're like, <laughs> No, he, he was he going to be fine. Some stitches, whatever. <laughs> yeah, don't uh, but be just, fucking It was weak. just a reaction. He was just like, that was like, are you okay? And he was like, <sighs> I, just can't. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I know why I don't think so was the best answer for that, but I had some weird reaction happen like that. I was uh, camping a couple weeks ago, and uh, dude, you know those like jet boil things, the like little propane yeah, yeah. things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Super, and uh, he tried to light it, and the whole thing caught on fire. So he's tragic. Like, yeah. So he's like, oh shoot, and then he's like, oh uh, ah, and then he panicked and threw. The little can what of propane maniac. into the fire. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone was like, "Oh my god, that's a bomb!" <laughs> we went sprinting away. He's He's like, I'm I, gonna change this from my problem to all of yeah, our problems. Ten thousand percent immediately. <laughs> it's it like blow? you do throw in the axe. Did it blow? No. So so like we like there was like 15 of us around this fire and we all just like scattered, you know, like cartoon style. Yeah. And he was like, "Wait, what?" Oh, okay. And then he went up and he like kicked it out to his credit, like kind of a hero. No. Like, I mean, an idiot. Yeah. Also, he did kick it out into someone's tent that caught on fire. I know I've told this on the podcast before, but uh, and I know this dude's listening. What's up, Mike Westerfield? But uh, when we were kids, <clears throat> we were burning shit in the back of my buddy Josh's like woods. He had this like big <laughs> hill. You go down this big hill. And there's like a fire pit in the woods. And it's the awesome. middle of October, so the worst possible time to be playing with gasoline. Just fucking dry, like, leaves everywhere and awesome. fucking dead trees. It's like, we're going to burn this whole forest. There's not a forest, but we're going to burn all this fucking little patch of land down. But we're uh, uh, throwing, we have a fire going, and there's, I wouldn't call it a creek. There's like a, it's a piss trinkle of water. It's like a dog pissed in a ravine, and that's how much water's in there, and there's an mm -hmm. old tire. And we're <laughs> next to that. We got a fire going. It's relevant. We got a fire going, and uh, we're kind of filling up like this yeah, red solo cup with of gas you. and throwing it from the red solo cup. It's just like, yo, oh, look, we made fire go bigger. And then uh, my buddy Mike <laughs> that's was some like, real dude stuff, dude. Yeah. <laughs> well, my, my friend Mike was that's like, some bridge people shit. <laughs> yeah. Mike was like, well, I could come on, give me the can of gas. And I was like, Mike's gonna fucking blow us all up if we give him the can of gas. Don't give him the can of gas. And he's like, I've been playing <clears> with fire for like seventy five years. It was like the Steven Seagal, of Tom Segura. It was literally like that. <laughs> I've been playing with fire for longer than everybody. It was like, okay, dude, take the gas. And I jokingly step back like take 10 paces and he's like dude you guys are fucking stupid and he takes the gas and puts no. it directly over the middle of the fire and starts pouring so the flame shoots straight up yeah and then the nozzle catches fire and i was like I, they do the fun thing I where he's like running. Are, I just started running for the hill, and they're like dude what do i do and i was like i'm not staying around to find out what you do have you ever so seen what he, happens yeah, it starts spurting fucking flames out of the floor. Well, like, people it. always, like, wave it around. Like, you yeah, can find you a million get... examples of it if you want to pull. Like, yeah, like, but yeah, yeah. people will start waving around and it just Catch flings gas. Oh, I know. Fire. I was there. Yeah. I'm getting to that part. He, uh, 
I, he was like, what do I do? I was like, I don't, I'm leaving. Goodbye. And like, have fun. Dying. Yeah, like, I warned you and you did it anyway. Yeah. This is your problem. Yeah, you figured out, stupid. And then he goes to throw it and he throws it in his piss trinkle of water. <laughs> There's not enough water to, by the way, gas is going to sit on top of the water and fucking burn no matter what. So that's not how you put that out. You have to smother the flame. But he didn't know. So you fucking throws it into this little piss trinkle of water and it moves the stagnant water just enough so that the tire floats down on top of it and then fucking catches tire fire and starts billowing black smoke. <laughs> oh. And we're on, we're in the middle of Coleraine, so it's like we're in a fucking, a, a crowded subdivision that just what? happened to have some what? fucking, yeah, and everybody's like, it's fine, dude, he put it out. I'm like, there's a tire fire in the middle of... The boys are on their way Yeah, right it's now. like, yeah, they, we're going to jail and then fucking... I gotta leave again, and, and then I see people at the edge, and I was like, there's people coming, fuck this, and I'm like, I'm all the way up the hill, and then it was like, Josh, Josh, and then it was fucking, he was like, oh, what's up, Vinny? And it was like, oh, that's my neighbor, Vinny, it's fine. He's like, are you burning the fucking woods down? I was like, it's very much not fine. He's not thrilled about the tire yeah. fire in his backyard right now. I think we need to leave. And... It's just because he knows the person yeah. catching him, it's all good. Yeah, he's like, it's fine, that's just Vinny. Like, I was it, like, Vinny's pissed right, right like, now. If he knew the cop that was coming to arrest him, he was like, <laughs> Vinny, is that you? He's like, yeah, it's fucking me, Josh. Exactly. He's behind your back. What so, you as an ex-not uh, cop, <laughs> sure, yeah. How would you have handled that situation if you walked up and found a bunch of drunk teenagers burning a tire in the middle of the woods? That's a great question because I was a All probation right. officer, so that that would happen. They would come to me after they've been sitting, so I'd be like, oh man, I should probably call a cop. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have been like, that, that seems real bad for somebody else to handle. <laughs> Had a fun, uh, we fire. did nothing about it. The boys never showed up. We literally just let a tire fire burn. We were like, up, uh, damn, I'm hungry. What'd your mom make for supper? And we just like, <laughs> we just left an unintended tire fire go into the it night. It seems to be a theme. You guys getting hungry at weird points. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm fiending for some mats right now. And I've been thinking about bagels since I got here. Yeah? Yeah. It's putting your dick in them. Because that little hole kind of looks nah, like a bubble. dude, I just really want some bagels right, right. now. That's weird. Uh, I have a very Lloyd Great fire choice. story as well. Go ahead. Close out on it. Uh, you know I can be uh, kind of a know-it-all cunt sometimes. Never. You? <laughs> so uh, a bunch of <laughs> a bunch of my friends were like, crashing out <laughs> by this lake, and they put up tents and whatever, and they were building a fire. And I was like, this is after I'd done like, the survival classes and all that shit back right. in the day. And I was so like, you know everything about surviving? <laughs> Enough. I'm kidding. More I'm than these fucking. I'm just playing off what you just said. Yeah. You took yeah, no, survival no, no. classes? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I mean, Bear Grylls. Yeah, I was going to say, it was like, how, and how many episodes of Man vs. Wild was that? No, like. Interactive Netflix version. <laughs> no, yeah, I, like, I, yeah, back when I was, uh, I worked for Hamilton County for a while doing like animal reclamation shit with like, you know, if they're opening up a sewer line, there's a bunch of fucking possums and shit living there. You go get them out. Exterminate. Shit like that. Yeah. No, oh, usually we relocate them. them. No, that was just kids. Oh, Only okay. kids. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, like I was you going. You're the clown from It. <laughs> <laughs> Killing kids in a sewer. Okay. Hey, you know, everybody's got to have a career start, right? Sure. <clears throat> but no, uh, so. I thought he was going to say you took survival classes. You <laughs> fucking homo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, continue. But no, so like I was, uh, they were building a fire and I was like, all right, the, you, uh, like the way they're doing it, I'm like, hey, this is never gonna work, guys. You're you're smothering. Like, there's nowhere for air to get in. Blah, blah. And I could tell the one dude was getting like, he was pretty over it. He was pretty uh, done with me in general. <laughs> Which I get. I just don't know how to fix it when I start doing that. Like you're like, oh, be more of a know-it-all cunt. That'll help. Well, I'm like, no. Look here. Here's why. Like I'm trying to explain what. And then just they doing start... more know it all shit. Yeah, this... yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Gasoline to put a fire out. I got you. <laughs> so and then I see him dragging shit over, and there's. For sure, just poison ivy all over one of the logs. <laughs> <clears throat> and I was like, man, you shouldn't. He's like, how about you stop? And I went, all right, cool. And I just oh, walked the fuck off, got wow. in my car, and left. Uh, three people went to the emergency room for inhaling fucking... <laughs> No way, oh. really? Yeah, for inhaling fucking you poison, burn I poison ivy. Yeah, yeah you can inhale it, and you can get it in your fucking esophagus. Oh, in the inside of your mouth. Yeah, that seems bad. And uh, three of them did. The one that was being uh, like shitty towards me was the the one who got it the worst. And, fucking uh, good. It was everything in me not to go visit him in the hospital. I'm like, oh yeah, how was that long, man? <laughs> I would have just sent flowers. It would have been toto so. I, uh, I actually just toto so. I actually just got a hold of his girlfriend and went, hey, make sure you tell him I said, uh, I hope he gets well soon. Because <laughs> I can't imagine, like, I'm sure that was enough to infuriate him even more. But yeah, you know, I don't know if I'm allowed to believe in karma. 
<laughs> that's a pretty, that's a pretty that's swift comeuppance. I have to say, Carl Spath had the best burn on you that I've ever heard anyone have. I know exactly what of you're all time. About. Yeah, Zach did a pretty good set. Blake had this like showcase for comics or whatever, and fucking Zach goes first, and I think maybe he's hosting or whatever. But you did yeah. good, and then Carl gets up on stage and he was like, "Zach, man, the only time that dude's dick gets wet is when his mom gives him a bubble bath." <laughs> For fucking, for fucking three minutes, people are on the ground getting sticky from the drinks on the floor, like rolling around making dolphin noises. God damn. That was the greatest. home run. Blake was in the back with the big, like, you got Blake weak laugh. He's like, ah! he's scream. He's doing the you scream laugh. Like, yeah. oh man, it was. The best mwah. part of that. Just, take, just taking five minutes to unlid his fucking water bottle. Yeah, exactly. Just getting, ah! 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 The best part of that was that ripped so hard that uh, Carl couldn't follow it. Yeah, <laughs> he bombed his dick off after that. Was the best part. He couldn't. Oh, he had a horrible set after that. Yeah, because he he hit he hit you with a fucking a hydrogen bomb right to start it off. You can't follow it up with anything. It's like I'm trying to remember who you followed. It was at a pro am at Go Bananas, and someone was like, all their stories were like violence and drugs, and you walked up like. So, uh, speaking of violence and drugs, and then just went right into your normal set. <laughs> Never and then fucking, uh, something along, the, I don't know if that's the right wording, but you said something like that, and I remember fucking dying laughing because I had seen your sure, set before. you know me. <laughs> so I'm sitting there like, he just walked up like, yeah, uh, speaking of sex, violence, and drugs, but it just went into his normal set. Just having and people wait for it. Like I feel like as his set went on, people started laughing. At the jokes and then laughing more as the set went. It was the perfect like setup for his comedy. Yeah. I was like, this might be one of the best sets I've ever seen. From, oh, like oh, somebody yeah. at a pro am. Like it just it worked so fucking perfectly to like everyone being like, oh okay, that's what he meant when he started off was. Like, you know what yeah, I'm, I'm like, gonna tell you about how I'm too close with my mom now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you did like the joke where you pulled the list out of your pocket. Oh God, that was like yeah. 2017. Yeah, yeah. That was but, ages ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you guys want to see? A, do you guys want to see a video where an NFL lineman mollywops TSA? <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> well, you'll have to join our Patreon. That's oh. uh, five dollars a month. Watch a, <clears throat> do you want to watch a video where Luke's for sure gonna hate me because I'm playing? <laughs> Oh yeah, there's a video. video. The video just says, uh, if you just want a little, a little taste of what we got, it, it just as soon as we, he was like, I got one. Go to the Instagram chat, pull it up, Barf. and we click on it. The first shit that comes up says, "Warning, distressing content," which is oh, a warning I've never seen before. So. Yeah, it's just someone holding a door open from too far away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Do I run? <laughs> what do I do? Yeah, if you want to check that out, $5 a month for all of our bonus content. We got another hour coming at you. Thank you, Zach Wyckoff. Everybody check out his Instagram. Go and see those shows. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, tell your Instagram again and all that. Uh, I'm at WAC underscore Zykuff, W-A-C-H underscore Z-Y-C-U-F-F. Um, follow me. I'm, I, uh, uh, it'll, be, it'll be worth your while. And those shows one more time are... Oh, yeah. Uh, the 13th, I'll be in Queen City. At the Queen City Radio in Cincinnati, I'll be in Louisville. On the 15th, I'll be doing my show, Revel, in OTR. Have you guys ever been to that? Never. It's, 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 Never I been mean, there. I hate you, too. It's a, it's a good time. No, it's a, no, it's a, I can now, but I don't have to go. It's one of those ones I'm like, okay, I'll make that one now because I don't have to go to work at 6 a.m. Oh, heck yeah, dude. Yeah, come hang. It's yeah. fun. It's We do like a little like uh, late night style vibe. It's like... Uh, we like interview, like comics do a set, and then they sit down for like an interview, and then like close the night with music, and we bring people that are a lot cooler than me, people that have. <laughs> now you're super it's cool. Hard to this, be. this is such a fun. Don't head. sell yourself you're short. Thanks, yeah. Buddy. What's yeah. that? Don't sell yourself short. Oh, that's. I thought you were calling me short. Um, I think <laughs> <laughs> for sure just was ready for the backhanded insult. <laughs> I, I really was. That's how. That's what it's that uh, hanging out with comics does to me. I'm just always ready for them to be. I got my guard up at all times. Yeah, now you know his, I mean? now his T-shirt says insecurity. <laughs> all right, well, <laughs> so that's a, pretty not, good. Not well, my best, not no, my worst. He just still, wear, he still wears the security shirt. He just has a hat that when someone says something shitty, he puts it on and says N. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's nice. I like that. It's like my joke but different <laughs> i was just trying to make it work for your security shirt but right, yeah you can go fuck yourself it's fine. <laughs> fuck the oh god dude uh, that's very cute oh uh, damn dude i haven't got this much of boy's ass in a while but i just got his ass dude. i have a feeling i'm gonna get butt fucked on this patreon 
Join it. Five dollars a month. Decision. Uh, if you want to check it out. Oh yeah, you didn't finish plugging your dates. Oh, uh, that's Revel. Just, I'm on the internet. Comment eleven nineteen, eleven twenty seven. Put it on tape. DM for the deets. Follow him and find out, you weak bitch. He's the best. Thank you, Zach Wyckoff. We Thanks, love you. Boys. Uh, listen to the Patreon. Five dollars a month for the bonus content. Uh, you get an extra hour long free episode a week. I want to do the Weird Al movie. I want to do that. Oh, can we record that so Friday? Or can we book that right now? Can we do an LLC this Friday? It's so good. Is that possible? Uh, yeah, I think only. Do you, you got to do a set that day? Let's do the Weird Al movie on Friday. I saw the thing. Wait, what time? I don't care. We'll we can figure a time out later. But we'll uh, th- we'll do this off the mics. But look out for the Weird Al. Let's do LLC. it after the mic at Roasting tw- or Roaring Twenties. Cool. We'll figure this out after. I'm just setting this up so that we yeah. more shit to plug. But we've got a bunch of the LLC podcast. That's Lloyd Lude Cody. We review movies. We watch it together. We do a little review. We've we got guests off. on. There's a bunch of those. Uh, there's all kinds of hundreds of hours of bonus content. Plus, you get the episodes a day early. So instead of Sunday, you get them on Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. Uh, check that shit out. We're also sponsored by at BG Bronson or at the Decorated Body. That's Bobby Bronson's tattoo shop. Luke just got a little, a uh, couple little two tree uh, pieces Did, of artwork on his body. I a couple two of, pieces. Yeah. 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 I went. I went there Saturday for uh, uh, my buddy Andre, uh, who had a guest spot there. Um, he will be moving to uh, a new shop, and we will book t- uh, to have him on the show in January. Is that considered um, like the the sin of artwork, like artwork sin? What's that? Tattoos? Is that? I don't know. I think if they're you're cool. If you're Jewish, right. have you ever seen? Yeah, yeah. that's the. Yeah, if you're Jewish, I know if you're, uh, which is, or a fundamentalist Christian. Yeah, mm. you can't be buried with nah. uh, with them or something like yeah, that. Like you're Jews not can't allowed be buried to be in the Jewish cemetery with tattoos. If you're tattooed, yeah. Man, maybe Kanye was right. Anyways, <laughs> now. Um, uh, but but yeah, I got Ooh. I got two pieces done, um, and I, I finally got to see the decorated body shop. I hadn't been there, uh, even though I know a bunch of people who work there. The decorated body shop is insane. It's super nice to go uh, into. It's very warm, welcoming. Uh, the 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 front room is really nice. Um, Did Bobby get scones with you? He'll like take people to go get coffee and scones and shit. No, 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 no. That's He's so that wholesome. type of dude. I swear to God, that's the I type of dude that. Bob is. You go in there, that's he's going to eat bagels with you. It's a fucking... He's a great guy. Plus, the fucking artists up there are top notch. Keep going, I'm sorry. No, it was a good time. It was. It was. Not, it's a long studio. It's a, a studio I've never seen before, and I've been to a bunch of uh, tattoo shops, but like, uh, they've got a whole fucking s- legit snack station right. for you the, to get like geared up and sugared up if you came in ill-prepared or whatever, or if you have a bad time in the middle of it or you're going on a long session. Bro, they had many bags of Andy Capps hot fries, my guy. That's really I nice. was sold a <laughs> Immediately, I saw them from the way back at the front door. I was like, "Is that Andy Caps? Like, may I?" Yeah, I was like, "Hold up, corner store prices. Is that Andy Caps <laughs> back there? Y'all got Andy's caps?" And no. they're like, "Yeah, we got Andy's caps. They got they got nuts. They Wait, got y'all candy. Got them for bag price? They got a refrigerator full of like seltzers, the uh, water. They've got everything. Everything so, you need. It's it's a super question. awesome. Yeah. Do you have to get a tattoo to go get these snacks? Because <laughs> I'm, I might be in, dude. No, just go up there and tell Bobby he's real cute. He'll probably share a bag of chips. All right, well, you. segue alert. What if you wanted snacks better? Oh, than ba- that? where would you go? You would pro- pro- probably go visit BangingSnacks.net, if anything. Uh, BangingSnacks.net has got everything wow. you need when it comes to the snack game. Uh, sn- uh, Banging Snacks, they've got snacks from Belgium. Russia, Korea, Japan, China. They've got snacks from around the globe and then some, maybe even from Middle Earth. Who knows? They're updating their stocks all sure, the snacks. fucking time. Dude, Lambus bread. Who knows? But they've got <laughs> <laughs> but they've got uh, a wide variety from uh, chips, different sorts of uh, Doritos you've never heard of, Pringles you've never heard of. They've also got sweets, Kit Kats. They've got uh, candy bars, Milka, a uh, brand you've probably never heard of in America. It's a big thing in Euro. They've also got uh, drinks. They've got Fanta. They've got different uh, sodas and uh, there's fizzy uh, auto fizz sodas that you see from like um, uh, Korea where you like insert the thing you push the cap before it fizzes uh, they've got all of that and so that much sounds more. so expensive but it's not it's of the uh, cheapest of prices <laughs> uh, and you can't find a cheaper price anywhere else than at being snacks.net not at fucking jungle gyms in their international aisles no wow. siri bub you can only find the cheapest of prices at bangitsnacks.net, and you can get them for even cheaper if you use the promo code BASTARD or BASTARDS at checkout, and you get free delivery on Cincinnati local orders. Bangin' Bang Snacks. Snacks, now with 30% less simian fur. Moving on. Yeah. Bangin' no, Snacks. There is no simian fur. 
I so made that awesome. up. Banging snacks, even those snacks, I would bang. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Hey, fuck Clip you, Zach. It. We like the Bangles. It's a podcast that Lloyd's on with Alex Schubert. Tell us about it, Lloyd. Uh, yeah, do another uh, podcast with a uh, friend uh, of the Bastard Sermon, Alex me. Schubert, that big handed fucking freak, uh, <laughs> <laughs> where we roast whatever team the Bengals are going to play next. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Uh, you don't even have to be a sports fan to enjoy it. We talk about comedy, life, everything, whatever. And then we roast the other team. So if you just like hear jokes about a. Uh, me talking shit about people that could murder me with their bare hands. Uh, yeah, th- this you'd have fun listening to that. So, uh, yeah. I enjoy it. I have a lot of time every time that I've produced it and every time that I've listened to it. He has it. a lot of time. Cody <laughs> approved. Uh, look, that's going to do for your Says numbers. Says the guy in the David Allen Co. hat. <laughs> yeah, dude. You don't want me signing <laughs> off on your podcast. Ringing endorsements. <laughs> yes. Well, All right. The Patreon. Well, Patreon. Goodbye. We'll be back. See you. Bye. All right.